What's happening friends, welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick and on this channel I talk about cryptocurrency, decentralized finance, and economics. The United States Federal Reserve has raised interest rates by 75 basis points, one of the largest increases in decades. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what exactly that means and why it affects crypto and stock markets the way that it does, because higher interest rates usually means prices down. Let's get into the video. The first thing to understand is what exactly does it mean when you say the Federal Reserve interest rate and what is some of this terminology that we're using as far as BPS. So BPS stands for basis points and it's basically a one hundredth of a percentage point and it's a term used a lot in finance. So if the interest rate was 1% before and it goes up by 75 BPS, it's going up to 1.75%. And you might hear, hear people say BIPs as well when talking about this. And when we talk about the Federal Reserve interest rate and we talk about that going up, what that means is that banks in the United States are required to hold a certain amount of their funds as reserves. So people deposit their money, some of that they loan out, some of that they hold as reserves, and then they're allowed to lend out those reserves overnight through the Federal Reserve to other banks. And this interest rate is basically the interest rate that they can get on those overnight funds. And the reason this is so significant is because it's often considered to be an extremely safe way for banks to lend their money and earn interest. Ergo, when this goes up, other interest rates go up as well. And so the Federal Reserve uses this as a way to affect the economy. And the reason they raised it is basically because inflation is getting too high. So inflation is clocking in over 8% right now, year over year. And so the hope of the Federal Reserve is if they raise interest rates, then people will spend less money. They'll instead hold it in the bank and that will reduce inflation. And that's basically how standard economic theory goes. A lot of you are probably familiar with that. And that's why they're raising interest rates right now. And so when this happens, when interest rates go up, it generally means that stocks and crypto goes down. And a lot of people were expecting 75 basis points. So crypto didn't go down immediately after they announced this but it has gone down for a number of weeks leading up to this. And generally, as people come to expect more interest rates, higher interest rates, then generally equities and crypto decrease. And so why does that happen? Because I think that a lot of people aren't entirely clear on this. There's a few ways to look at it, a few ways to look at it, but there's two that I think are probably the most helpful. And then here's just a quick chart of the NASDAQ, which you can see has been falling significantly since they made this announcement a couple days ago. So one way to think about the interest rate is as the cost of money. So if you're starting any business venture, whether it's real estate, business, and so on, you might want to borrow money to fund that venture. If the interest rate goes up, then one of two things is going to happen. First thing is you might not be able to borrow as much money, meaning that you'll have less money for the venture and you won't be able to make it as large or, or scale it as much. The second thing that could happen is you might borrow the same amount of money, but your monthly payments will be higher because you have a higher interest rate, meaning that your profits will be lower. So imagine the mortgage that you could afford at three percentage points versus six percentage points, right? It's going to be significantly higher or you'll be able to borrow significantly more money if you're paying only three points. And so that's basically the first way that it affects stocks and businesses in general is interest rate goes up, profits go down. The second way, and this is probably, in my view, more relevant to high risk assets like the NASDAQ, like Bitcoin, is interest rates are generally considered to be safe. That is, you have cash in a bank and you're earning money on it. You don't have to hold any sort of volatile assets, or maybe you're holding something like US Treasury bonds which for all the faults of the US government are generally considered to be a very reliable way to get your interest over time because they've never not paid them out before. So imagine that you're an investor and you're holding your entire portfolio in equities and you're expecting around 7% yield a year. And imagine that you're doing that because interest rates are say 0%. There's no interest rate. 
as, as interest rates have been near zero for several years. Now imagine that interest rates go up to 3%. Suddenly, stocks are looking a lot riskier because previously you were earning 7% as opposed to 0%. Now you're earning 7% as opposed to, to 3%. So there's only a four percentage point benefit to holding stocks, but a lot more risk. So when they do things like that, what happens is people start to sell off riskier assets and, and allocate them instead towards safer assets like bond, like savings accounts. So imagine in this hypothetical example, you had 100% in stocks before, now you sell 30% of those and instead put it in a savings account for 3%. You can imagine what happens to the price of stocks then, right? Goes down because fewer people are holding them. And in the, over the past few years, interest rates have been near zero. So the price of stocks has skyrocketed and the price of real estate for that matter because the only way to actually get any sort of return was to buy something, buy a stock, buy Bitcoin, buy real estate. Well, now people can get interest rates just by holding their money in the bank. So naturally, some people are going to take that option instead. And as a result, these riskier assets like tech stocks, like Bitcoin and so on, are starting to fall. And that's basically how raising interest rates results in lower stocks and lower crypto. And I know I talked a lot, a lot about stocks in this, that's because these same mechanisms that apply to stocks also apply to crypto, but in fact are even more accelerated because as the frontier of technology, Bitcoin and crypto is generally considered to be even riskier than a tech giant like Facebook or Amazon. That's all I got for today. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think that interest rates are going to keep going up? And are there any other topics related to economics that you'd like me to cover on this channel? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.